Positive Vibes, maybe PBM the talk show. Dante Dash here, here with Lost Child, the poet, you know. I, like <laughs> I just had I like to that. That. <laughs> So, would you tell us, all right, first, what made, what made you want to participate in tonight's open mic? Secondly, what what motivates you to share the pieces that you shared you today? And that's going to lead to my next question. Um, well, I, I try to support any and all venues that I can. Um, I understand, like, in this platform, any in an artistic, like, underground platform, like, we don't really get a lot of support. It's not a lot of money in it. Um, so when people put venues together, it normally costs money for these venues. If people don't come, the few people that do come, if we don't come, it's, it's, it's rough for somebody to keep coming out of pocket to keep venues open or whatever. So I try to get to any and every event that I can, whenever I can, as often as I can. And the pieces that I chose, I just kind of went off the top. I like to tell people, like, I keep a clip ready. Five, five pieces always ready at the top of my head. So if I got to pick two, I pick two of those five. Now, what stood out to me the most was the tone and the weight and the flow of the first one. Particularly your first one, how you had the cadence of it speaking so fast and then kind of slowing it down. Mm -hmm. So tell me about that, that creating writing process. How do you go from creating the poem to like this time? And, all right, I want to speed up here as opposed to slow down here and picking the words and choose it. So walk me through your whole process. It's, it's, it's just a, um, I've never necessarily studied poetry to understand certain styles. I just hear the rhythm of words. And certain words, I may say a phrase, and just how the words kind of bounce off of each other, the next line bounces off of that. And then whatever I say after that, which whatever I would naturally say, I follow the rhythm of the words. It just, I, I hear it, and it, it, it makes sense from that perspective. But it, it's not, I don't write stuff to have a specific idea in mind before I write it, like, okay, this is how I want it to sound. It just, the way it comes out, and I just follow that pattern, how the, word, how the words come in. I like the... I like wordplay, and I like how words just kind of bounce off of each other, and I just kind of follow that all the way through. That's interesting, because your, your poems seem like they, they needed like real care and detail into the words <laughs> that, you, that you chose to, so to hear that you just kind of just, just like wordplay yeah. like throughout the whole time is interesting. I like that. I like that style of writing. I, like I appreciate it. It's not even a style. It's, I tell people this. I know some people practice and, 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 and craft their art form. I, when I, if I try to sit down and write, it won't come out like that. But if I don't think about it and I'm driving or I'm at work and I'm doing something and it pops in my head, I just try to catch it when it comes and then just kind of stay with that. It's like a wave. You catch the wave when, it, when the water's waving and when it ain't, it ain't. Okay. So that kind of answers my next question. <laughs> my next question is going to be the typical, how long does it take to create a poem or a song? You know, so, and that you done told me is by the way. Yeah, you know, yeah. By the it way. comes when it comes. Like sometimes I've written pieces all in one shot. Sometimes I do a little bit here and leave it for a couple of days and come back to a little bit later. So yeah, every piece is different. Just it depends on how it comes. When it comes, I catch it. Okay. All right, so my last question is, what do you enjoy most, the performance or the writing? Um, I would say the performance. I think in, in, in most of my stuff, I always try to have a message. Even if I'm j laughing and joking and playing around, I still like to have somewhat of an underlying message in most of my stuff. And I like the fact that even with my flow, people catch what I'm saying sometimes. I know some of my stuff goes over people's heads and in one end out the other. But I like the fact that it's not, I'm not just up here just saying stuff that sounds cool. There's usually some sort of a message in there with everything that I do. So can you let the people know where they can find you? Yes, Facebook and or Instagram is um, Poet Lost Child. Poet is regular, P-O-E-T, Lost Child is L-O-S-C-H-I-L, both Facebook and Instagram. Also, do you have any upcoming shows? Um, nothing necessarily planned, but any open mic that I can find in the tri-state area that I can get to. Um, if you follow my page, you see I post whenever I see events, no matter who's putting it together, if there's something within the area that I can get to. Even if I can't get there, I post it so other people can see what's going on in the area. But I'm just an open mic bandit at this point. That's just what I do. When I see it, I go. Hey, I like it. So to those that's looking for open mic contestants, family, make sure you reach out. Love the art. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Yes, sir. Guys, this is Positive Vibes Maze, the PPM the Talk Show. Stay tuned for more contestants throughout the night. We'll be with you.